Why go out farming for money when you can have an infinite passive income? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be going over today in Hogwarts Legacy. We're going to be able to passively make as much money as you'll ever need in Hogwarts Legacy. This is still going to revolve around quote unquote rescuing beasts, but without having to actually farm up beasts the way we were in our last money making method. This is going to be much more passive and you'll be able to make money while playing through the game without really ever having to worry about it again. Now there is going to be some legwork that you need to do to get to this point and it's all going to be revolved around expanding the room of requirements with Deke. Every time you do a new mission with Deke, you're going to unlock a new vivarium biome. You're going to be able to unlock a total of four different biomes, and every single time you're going to unlock new things for the vivarium. But the third mission in particular is the most important, and this is the one where you unlock breeding, and this is how we're going to get our passive income strategy. To get these quests from Deke, you need to make sure as you progress through the main story that you occasionally visit the Room of Requirements, and there's a chance that Deke will then ask you to come talk to him. Now to unlock breeding and our third biome, we're going to need to tame two Thestrals, both male and female, and we have to buy a breeding pen from the Tomes and Scrolls. Now thankfully, Thestrals are easy to find. If you open up your map, we're going to need to go quite far north of Hogwarts to this north right corner here. And if we zoom in on the map in this little swamp looking area, there's going to be a Thestral den. And this time I just got really lucky because right there is a shiny Thestral. Now what you can do is you can just use Levioso on them and then you can hit them with the Biag. You can just try and do this as quick as possible. You can Levioso them again if you need to. No need just to chase them down. I mean you know how. Levioso. Ugh. And wham bam, thank you ma'am. You've got your Thestrals. We're gonna need to get a male and a female. After capturing your male and female Thestral, you're gonna need to head to Hogsmeade to Tomes and Scrolls. Once here, talk to Thomas Brown, look at what we have, and he's gonna sell we? a breeding pen for 1,000 gold. Once you've got your two Thestrals and your breeding pen, go ahead and head back to the Room of Requirements and speak with Deke. Let him know that you've picked up both of these, and you're gonna unlock the new Swamp Vivarium. This is actually where I chose to put my breeding pen and my two Thestrals. Once you've placed the breeding pen and your Thestrals, you just need to walk up to the breeding pen and choose which ones you would like to breed. I'm guessing they just kind of get stuffed in this little pen. Oh, look at the... Oh, that's so cool. Breeding for 30 minutes. That's not bad. Oh, and you can actually see both of them in there, or at least that's the, the female one, who is also the shiny Thestral. Oh, our little Thestral is just running around. Uh, once it's born, you're gonna have to groom it real quick and feed it, and then we're gonna have to talk to Deke again, but this is getting us very close to our passive money-making method. Once you finish talking with Deke and complete that quest, this is where we can start our passive money-making process. As you can see, we have a bunch of babies in here already, and uh, we're essentially making a, a puff skein mill. <laughs> it's, we're rescuing them, okay? We're rescuing them, that's what's happening. Uh, once you start having these babies, what we can do is we can open up our menu and we're gonna take these offspring and we're gonna move them to our inventory. You can do this with one beast, you can do this with any beasts in the game. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to continuously set these up to breed. So every time new babies pop in, uh, every 30 minutes what you can do is while you're playing through the game, maybe you complete a mission or two, you can come back, pick up your babies, and then set them up to breed again, and then go and play the game. And you don't have to spend any time really farming. The only thing you have to do is just come here and fill up your breeding pens. And you can even collect items when you come back here too. So it's kind of a two for one special. So we're gonna put four of these ready to go. You can only put four breeding pens in each area, at least for now. I don't know if there's another upgrade that allows you to end up putting five, but um, five would, I assume, be the max. But currently, I can do four with the three biomes that I have. I also highly recommend putting a one of these feeders in here because then what you have to then all you have to do when you actually come in here is just to groom them rather than having to feed and groom, and you can collect your items really fast before going and selling them. So not only are you getting items for this for all of your upgrades in the future, but you're making money at the same time. Now, uh, this is all relatively a quick process, and I like it a lot more than having to go out and spend, you know, an hour farming or something like that, because it really allows you to kind of get two birds with one stone. You're collecting items that you need to progress through the game, and you're making money without having to really deter yourself from the main game. Now for some of my money making farms here, I decided to just use a bunch of puff skeins because it was so easy to catch a ton of them. But what I do recommend doing is over time replacing just puff skeins 
um, with all the different types of beasts that you can get in the game. So that way, not only are you making money while doing this, but you're getting all the different types of items that you can get in the game. And just every 30 minutes or whenever you feel like you need a little bit of money, just come in, pick up a bunch of these little pets, and then go and sell them. Essentially, uh, with, with three, you can get a total of uh, 12 every 30 minutes. And then once you get the fourth biome, then obviously you're going to be able to get 16 every 30 minutes, which is, you know, right around 2,000 uh, galleons. And that's not bad for really not having to do any work and getting a bunch of items at the same time. Now, if you don't know where to sell all of your beasts, you need to go to the North Hogsmeade flu point, and there's going to be a place called the Brood and Peck. This is where we're going to take our beasts and sell them. Now, unfortunately, babies or shinies or any of that stuff don't sell for any more. All beasts sell for the same price, regardless if they're babies or shiny or really whatever. Uh, but it's definitely a nice little extra chunk of change. And you can still use the other money-making video that I made with that uh, rotation where you can make about 21,000 galleons per hour if you decide to. And honestly, <laughs> just doing that for an hour is going to set you up really well as well. But at least you have different choices. And if you need end up needing a bunch of money for outfits or clothing or really whatever you want to complete, um, then you can do that. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.